According to the American Cancer Society, over 45,000 new cases of pancreatic cancer will be diagnosed this year. There will be over 65,000 new cases of lymphoma and more than 200,000 new cases of lung cancer. How would you know if there was a problem with your health? Well, certain body pains may be your first warning sign. Pain in my back. Back pain. Millions of people experience it, but it could be a sign of pancreatic cancer. When acid invades the pancreas, it can cause stomach pain that can radiate down the back. If the pain is relieved temporarily by bending over, then it's not just sore muscles. And arm pain, it could signify lung cancer. As it invades, it blocks blood vessels and causes local irritation. The pain can occur on the inside of the arm and worsens over time. But keep in mind, not all pain leads to cancer. So if your muscles ache or your tummy hurts for more than a few days, it's best to see your doctor. Also might want to watch out for bloating. It could be a symptom of colon cancer. Now, if you do happen to be diagnosed with cancer, you're going to want to have all the support you can get. One fashion designer is chipping in by helping cancer survivors get their style groove back one couture stitch at a time. This is not your typical runway. Sure, the models are hot and the dress is glamorous, but these young women all have one thing in common. They've all survived cancer. Maria Shaviri studied to be an artist, but was intrigued at the chance to create clothing for these survivors. All the pieces for for me, it really has to do with meeting the great women that wear them. Women like Molly Ross. Molly found a lump in her breast eight years ago and had a double mastectomy. From that moment on, my entire world changed forever in a split second. Molly is a total powerhouse. She just makes things happen and she's a lot of fun. Molly is the co-founder of Shout, an organization for young cancer survivors. But today, it's all about Molly, her style, and her dress that Maria is designing just for her. A little feminine, fitted, little Jackie-o. Maria says clothing after cancer can bring back painful memories and clothes rarely fit. How do I move forward? How do I you know, embrace this change. She's designed some really beautiful dresses, you know, that fit our bodies. And that just means so much um, to us as, as survivors. And for Maria, it's a perfect fit. When I can take the anxiety from getting dressed away, and I see that and I, I hear that from them, that is probably the most rewarding part for me as a designer. And we just saw how much it means to those cancer survivors to have that support group. Now, you also have a chance to make a difference in the lives of those who have been diagnosed with the disease. Joining us today to tell us more about how are Seaford resident Sheila Kintz and executive director of the Delaware Breast Cancer Coalition, Vicki Cook. Both Sheila and Vicki are cancer survivors. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. Thank you, Thank you for having us. Sheila, let me start with you. You were diagnosed uh, just last summer or just last June. Last June? Yes. Tell us your story. Well, um, I went for a routine mammogram in June. Um, it came back not real well. They wanted to do a second one. It came back and it showed that there was something there. So I went to have a biopsy. And when I had the biopsy done, I went back to the doctor about four or five days later and found out that I had breast cancer. Wow. Now your husband had just passed away from cancer. Yes five months before you had your diagnosis. Wow. What was going through your head? Well, my first thought was our two-year-old son was gonna grow up without both of his parents. Mm. And my second thought was, I can't believe this is happening again. But I will tell you that it has been, a, it has been great that I got hooked up with the Delaware Breast Cancer Coalition. Um, they provided a mentor that um, had the same type of issues. Her husband had died f before she got diagnosed with breast cancer. So therefore, she was able to give me a lot of support, tell me the things that she um, went through. We had different treatment plans because I had a mastectomy and she didn't, but yet, you know, she could follow through and tell me things that I never even thought was possible. How about that? All yeah. right, Vicki, that's your cue. <laughs> you you are a cancer survivor. I am. I'm a 20-year survivor. So hopefully that gives hope to those who've been diagnosed that you go on with your life after cancer. 
And the, the Delaware Breast Cancer Coalition steps in to help people who've been diagnosed. Um, tell us more about how the coalition works. Well, I think like Sheila said, we have a peer mentor program. So when someone is diagnosed, if they call us, we're able to link them with someone who has had like circumstances. And it may be that someone has even more than one mentor. So in Sheila's case, she had someone who went through the same kind of issues where, their, where her husband passed away, but maybe um, we can provide a mentor who had the same treatment or some of the other issues. Um, we really focus on young women who uh, are diagnosed with breast cancer. We serve all women, but um, we, we particularly focus on young women so that we can link them because young women who have breast cancer, um, a lot of times their issues are different than their mother or their grandmother. Mm -hmm. You know, they have young children or they have uh, careers that, mm -hmm. that, that they're juggling uh, through the treatment. Um, so we, we provide that, our peer mentor program. We have relationships with all the hospitals. Now you've got an event coming up uh, where do. people can show their support. Tell us about Message in a bottle. Well, we have a, what we are calling a friend raising event. It will be at the Life Saving Station in Rehoboth, right uh, at the Indian River Life Saving Station. Appropriate, I think, for a, fun, a friend raiser. Yeah, no kidding. Um, and we're really excited about it. It'll be uh, the the guests will come. There'll be a red carpet, uh, a uh, photographer, a spectacular sandcastle. <laughs> Uh, food from Bones restaurant at Harrington. We will have entertainment. We'll have salty sailor cocktails. Sounds yeah. like a and lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. September 14th. And this is the invitation. This is it. It actually comes in a bottle. Message so it's in a, a message bottle. in the bottle. That's awesome. Thank you so Sheila, much. Sheila, thank you. Thank, thank you for telling us thank your you. story. And for a link to register for the event or to learn more about the Delaware Breast Cancer Coalition, go to delmarvalight.com and click on the show tab. Well, still to come on Delmarva Life, even though school is out for the summer, now is the time to get your high school student ready for college. What you can do over the next couple of months to help take the stress out of college prep. But first, moments ago we learned about certain body pains and cancer. Dr. Oz says if you have a stomach pain, your body might also be trying to tell you something else. Do you ever get a gnawing pain in your stomach? You could have an ulcer. Despite popular belief, stress and alcohol are not the major causes. The real culprit is a bacterium known as H. pylori, which you can pick up from food or water. To protect against H. pylori, eat foods rich in vitamin C, like oranges and papaya. Pain relievers like aspirin and ibuprofen are the other major causes of ulcers. Try enteric-coated versions that can keep your stomach safe.